I guess the next big question then, there is this upper class in the United States. Is it a ruling class, a governing class? And is it cohesive? Yeah, I, I, I believe that uh, first it is cohesive and, and secondly that uh, it is a ruling class. I think that we see the cohesion in the fact that uh, these people are members of each other's clubs, so to speak. That is, if we look at club memberships all over the United States, we would find that uh, a leading banker in New York may well be in clubs in Los Angeles and, and San Francisco. We find in the case of a club I've studied with uh, some care called the Bohemian Club in San Francisco that people from all of the United States come to its two-week retreat in the last uh, part of July and uh, sleep together in tents and huts and teepees and just kind of go to summer camp together. They literally do go to, to uh, summer camp uh, together. There's a lot of that kind of social cohesiveness. There's also cohesiveness in the corporate world in that they sit on each other's corporate boards. So that uh, the head of Chase Manhattan Bank, such as David Rockefeller until recent years, will sit on two or three other corporation boards. But the head of those corporations will also sit on the board of Chase Manhattan Bank. So they take in each other's laundry at the economic uh, uh, level as well. They also come together to talk about more general issues, whether it's uh, foreign policy or kinds of domestic policy, at what I call discussion groups. But this means organizations like the Committee for Economic Development, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Conference Board, the Business Council. Uh, there's numerous of these groups. So I think there is cohesiveness uh, in this uh, group as a social class and, as, and in terms of its economic interest. We've been talking a lot or referring to the Council on Foreign Relations, Committee for Economic Development, Trilateral Commission. Let's talk in greater detail about the policy planning mechanisms some of these organizations. Mm -hmm.